T-Man978 Chill Review Hello everyone, right now I'm reviewing Transformers Generations, Titans Return, Blunderbuss, and Broadside. You know it's just Broadside, because because who cares about Blunderbuss? Here's the stuff back here. Here is the multi-language bio collector's card. And with the guy that's supposed to be as huge as him, I'm shocked that these stats are so low. Here's Broadside, and he's nice. He's nice looking. I like him. I like the colors. It definitely makes me think of the G1 toy, if you know about the G1 toy. He does have a big chunk of massive kibble right there. But he's so big that I, I, don't, I don't even care about that, to be honest. But he's covered in a ton of paint. But like I noticed with the last night Optimus Prime, it's not detail. It's just paint. So all of this is red. This transparent piece is painted silver. And this silver is very close to being like the Masterpiece Megatron silver. Where don't don't scrape that. Don't scrape that. It's easy to scratch, to be honest. All that silver paint up, up under here is silver paint. Solid like. Like, I don't think it's this side, but this side is the silver paint. So, red paint right there. He is covered generously. The face. The face is nicely sculpted. The way they painted this right here, it's like they're trying to be too neat. So, some, it's like they didn't fill in the visor completely and like, can't get the camera to focus on them. Yeah. They didn't fill in the visor completely. So there's no bleeding onto the actual helmet. But they didn't paint the visor completely. So I don't know if that'll bug you. It doesn't bug me because I don't look at them that close. One thing cool about his Titan Master is I can make him look up. Of course it half transforms his head. But at least the option is there. Turning the head. It doesn't turn the whole way just like the other Voyager class figures. So when you point out to the side like this trying to get a pose and then you realize, oh, hey, he's not even looking where the gun is. Then you have to just readjust it to like that. So that hinders things a lot. Unless you push this down and now he doesn't have those things and he can look whichever way he pleases. Click this, and they shoot back up. And here's something I noticed. Push this, and it makes his head turn. So maybe you can make that a play feature. Hands. I like that when you transform it, it locks into place completely. You got to grab this to pull that out. But they didn't do it for this angle, so it doesn't lock right there. And if he needed anything, I would have liked wrist rotation, but he doesn't have it. So, you got a good look at them. Articulation, the arms go 360 right there. Go out right there. Bicep rotation. The hand can go in. You saw that. You saw what the head does. No waist can rotation. Legs can kick out that far. They can kick back, only hindered by the kibble. Go out to the side and do a full split. Thigh rotation. Knee joint. That's pretty much 90 degrees. And the foot does this stuff right here. Now, I've been trying to decide where this foot should be since I bought Alpha Tryon. Because the feet are basically Alpha Tryon. Just with some remolded parts on top of it. But I've decided on this right here. This makes him the most stable. So, I mean, you could do whatever you want. But this right here makes him the most stable. So I like that. These wings, you can leave them out to the side. Put them back like this, but they're going to bump into the kibble. Or you could flare them out to the back if you just want them out of the way and don't want to see it. But when he moves his arms, now he has blades out like that. So that's pretty much that. I do not like the gun. The gun is ugly. It's massively hollow right there and I do not like transparent weapons. I think they probably did that for the 
the jet mode, but I, I don't like that. Blunderbuss. Unpainted. As per norm, going past wave one. Of course, the arms can come out this far. Don't push them any more than that or they'll pop off. They can go all the way up and he can get into a seated position. Joints are tight. Neck seems to be a little bit longer to me than other Titan Masters, but I could be imagining things. Transformation. Let's go to his weakest mode first. We could push these down. You don't really have to, but okay. Push that up like that. Push that up like that. And you're going to keep pushing this by accident anyway. Anyway, rotate the arms to this transformation right there. Twist the feet up like that on both sides. Swing the wings out. Now bring this to the first little hole right there. And then bend it like this. First little hole right there. And now rotate the arm. Now you'll know whether you put it in the right hole or not in the inside of his thigh. If the arms can come down and reach into to here. And actually, they cannot. Actually, no, no, no. You got to actually push it in like that. Sorry. Bring that in. And you just have to wiggle it until it goes in there. Now, what I don't like about that is that's not a secure fit. Bring the wings out like this. And go ahead and rotate everything up like this. And bring this down like that. So now, pretty much, you have him in his jet mode, which doesn't look too great. You have to have a hell of an imagination for this to be a good-looking jet. It looks like, you know, Blitzwing turns from a tank to a jet. But this thing looks like a jet with a tank on the back of it. That does not look good to me at all. Of course, you can pop these wings off, spin them around, flatten the legs out like this. Open these panels up. Bring everything flat, and he would be a more leveled out jet. And this thing keeps untabbing on me. It wasn't doing that when I first was transforming it, but before this review, it started doing that. And I saw online that if you push it, push these down like that, they can even act as landing gear because he does not have any landing gear. Opening the cockpit. You have to grab your fingernails under the sides and it comes open. There's not a ton of detail in there, but there is some semblance of a seat down there. Take blunderbuss, sit him in there, and now he's piloting this thing. And you can put this gun here. Maybe that fills things out better for you. I don't know, but yeah, it looks like a train wreck. I do like this red paint right there. That's a nice touch. Like, if it just covered all this stuff, I like it. And this makes me think about the G1 days where they actually used to put paint on things like solid, shiny paint on the die cast parts. It might bother some people that this red doesn't match right there. But there you go with that. Next mood. Take blunderbuss out of there. We can leave this like that. Just go ahead and flip this forward and tab that into place. Go ahead, get the arms out of the way for now. Rotate this out like this. Bring the foot like that. Same stuff over here. Tab these together. And rotate these panels up. For some reason, it is fighting me and will not stay pegged together. Like, what is going on here? It would be nice if the feet pegged together. That would have helped. Bring these down. 
and now bring this up like that. Holy moly, this will not stay together. Bring this up. I took a brief pause to see if I had something wrong, but I don't, it wasn't doing that earlier. With the arms still the same way they were, bring these and tab it to the back of the arm. It's a tab that goes into this hole right there and a tab that goes in there. Lift this up and lift this radar up. And now he's an aircraft carrier. And broadside has always never made any type of sense. How can a jet turn into a whole aircraft carrier? So, it's nice. Like I was showing you the all like silver paint. This is slathered in silver paint right there. And the runway is like slathered in details. Like, it's silly that they put this sticker over top. And, like, it covers the molded in detail right there. So, I know in Japan they probably do not have these stickers. Because that's silly. And I bet you it looks way better. But, that 36 is a sticker. This 36 is a, but 36 is a sticker. That Autobot symbol is a sticker. That's a sticker. And these stickers are not repro label quality there. They're crappy quality. All the stickers from, from this line just suck. And I wish they weren't using them. This is what it looks like on the bottom. And it actually has landing gear or legs for this mode, mode but not the jet mode, which is weird. But these do not stick straight and they're prone to make him collapse which I do not like. In fact, I'm not going to fight with it. You see the problem right there. Features you can do in this mode. You can lift that back and put a Titan Master here. So now he can, I don't know, stand there and pretty much look goofy. Of course, you can put the gun there. Put the gun here. You could peg the gun into the side of the arms. It is a weak peg right there, so it doesn't stay in good. I would think that this is supposed to peg into something, but I don't know what it's supposed to peg into. Accessories is five little miniature model aerial bots. And they're very detailed, but it's a DIY situation, they want you to paint it yourself. So they look like the Combine Awards Aerial Bots. And you can even see the Aerial Bots kibble under there, like definitely silver bolt. You can see the leg details and whatnot. So that's very, very cool. Here are all five Aerial Bots on the runway right there. So that's cool. What's not what is cool, they painted these things white. What's not cool is when you pull them off the sprue, you can see that they're blue transparent plastic, and you could see that they're blue transparent plastic. I wish that they were actually just a white sprue, <laughs> and they didn't have to paint it white. So, and this one right here, I almost ripped the wing off on pegging him from the sprue. So... There you go with that. That's a little extra play feature right there if you want it. And a cool addition that they didn't have to give us, but they did. So that is awesome, really, right there. So in the end, Broadside is, he's all right. He, he would definitely be cool for kids. They could have a lot of fun stuff to do, transforming them into an aircraft carrier and having these little aircrafts to actually put, put on them. I mean, that's actually a cool addition right there for, for little kids or younger people or DIY people that can paint and they that'll give them something to do as far as painting him. But jet mode is lacking and getting him into that aircraft carrier mode, as you saw, was fiddly and it mostly stays together well. But right here you can see that you can keep the aerial bots on his body. But be careful because you 
if you drop them off, they're probably lost forever. Or you stomp on them, they're gone. But anyway, it's just all right. He's not really a character that I'm pressed about. But since I was able to get him on a major discount, I picked him up. If you like the video, well, let me know you like the video by liking the video. Subscribe, comment, share. T-Man 978, out of here. Thank you for watching.